Skywatch Media News for April the 9th, 2020. A tremendous space rock is traveling in the northern sky on a trajectory with our sun. Currently located outside of the constellation Ursa Major, passing through the orbit of Mars. The comet, known as Atlas, completed its last rendezvous with the Earth around 4000 BC, when its approach was witnessed by the Egyptians and Neolithic tribes. This time around, Comet Atlas was observed by the Near-Earth Asteroid Detection Facility, located in Hawaii. It was first spotted on December the 28th, 2019. The atmosphere of Atlas is five times the physical size of Jupiter and about half the size of the Sun. By the end of this month, the comet may appear brighter than the planet Venus in the night sky. As it approaches the inner solar system, it will be one of the brightest objects in the night sky. It will become the comet of a generation. Astronomers who captured images of the Great Comet have described it as brilliant and omnipotent, a comet that baffles the mind, since its exact size is unknown. What is apparent is that the comet is surrounded by a gaseous cloud that is more than 447,000 miles in diameter. This is half the size of the Sun's diameter and five times greater than Jupiter's diameter. Although it is a powerful presence in the solar system, it is expected to pass the Earth at a distance of 72 million miles. The comet has a tail that is about the same size as its atmosphere, which transmits huge amounts of gas and dust into space. The last comet to pass this close to the Earth in the northern hemisphere was Hale-Bopp in the year 1997, which makes the Atlas observation a rare occurrence for astronomers. The comet is presently passing through the orbit of Mars, with a diameter that is twice the size of all of the major planets in the solar system combined. It is already much brighter than astronomers expected it to be at this point in its journey. By the end of April, the comet should be putting on a stunning display for all the world to see. As the comet approaches, there will be a distinctive green color that will emanate from its perimeter. The color originated from a diatomic carbon, which is a molecule commonly found in comets when approaching within a gas formation. There is an interesting forethought among astronomers, although speculative, that Atlas may be related to the Great Comet of the year 1843, since both comets are following a similar trajectory, and that both have separated from a larger comet that had formed in the earlier days of the solar system. The reason that astronomers are so enthralled with the likes of Comet Atlas is the fact that our planet has been continuously besieged by comets since the Bronze Age, which is a point that NASA acknowledged in a paper that was published back in the year 1998. Whether this is a sign of something ominous is uncertain, but astrophysicists have modeled asteroid and comet impacts over the last 5,000 years, and they have concluded that the Earth was impacted 25 times during this period, a period in which there was a major development of human civilization. Such reasoning by scientists has inspired historical events. It's not surprising that when comets appeared many centuries ago, that prophets and shamans and men of cloth regarded them as symbols of impending destruction. Today, such fears have disappeared into our society. But that was until the latest alert from the Atlas telescopes in Hawaii, informing the world that a massive comet half the size of our sun was heading our way. 
what was once considered as fear-mongering has all of a sudden become much more eventful. 2020 is becoming a year of tribulation and the year of the comet, that great object that will appear in the northern sky. The fact that these events are happening at this time is no coincidence. They appear to be occurring by design. Is it possible that Comet Atlas is more than what we are being told by astronomers and planetary scientists? Some folks think so, and they are not ashamed to let you know what they believe. You may recall a few years ago, one of the hot topics on YouTube, Facebook, and other social media platforms was the belief or the concept by a few astrophysicists that a tenth planet or a ninth, depending on whether you want to count Pluto, is lurking in the outer edges of our solar system in a type of eccentric orbit that is unusual to the known planets of our solar system. The idea behind this concept, at least for a number of believers, is that the tremendous changes we are seeing happening across the solar system in the past 20 or more years are most likely occurring as a result of a rogue system of wandering planets that are peculiar to our portion of the universe. If an object large enough in stature to Comet Atlas, such as a brown dwarf planet, passed at some distance between the Earth and the Sun, and we're talking about tens of millions of miles in distance theoretically, but still considered close enough relative to its density, that object would have the potential to affect the oceans, the climate, volcanoes, and the geological makeup of the Earth. Such an object would certainly have the potential to alter the position of the physical and magnetic poles on our planet prior to its passage. You might remember back in the year 2012, with all of the talk about the Mayan calendar, the end of the world as we know it, and the beginning of a new era in human civilization. There were numerous images and videos posted online about a new star that was appearing in our sky that no one in the mainstream media was talking about. In fact, have you heard much on the cable news channels about Atlas, a once-in-a-generation comet coming our way? Now, I'm not one for pushing conspiracy theories, or speculating on what is or isn't real. But doesn't it seem just a bit odd that so much attention is focused on what's happening at this moment on this planet rather than what's taking place above us? Nibiru, by all definitions and concepts, and by the research of various scholars, is the largest of a handful of planets that orbit around a brown dwarf star named Nemesis. In essence, it is a mini-solar system. Nibiru is said to be five times the size of Jupiter, making it a giant among giants. Its orbit around our Sun is said to be somewhere in the range of every 3,600 years. These determinations are in line with those of Atlas, a great comet that is five times that of Jupiter, with an orbit around the Sun every 4,000 years. If something quite large is pulling at the sun's core and influencing its magnetic poles, it could explain the tremendous escalation of cosmic radiation that is entering the Earth's atmosphere over the Arctic in just the past three years, showing a 12% influx in cosmic rays entering the stratosphere during this time period. We are seeing the gravitational pull and the magnetic influence playing out here on Earth where the poles are in the process of reversal. This can only occur if two forces are acting together to account for the transition. The mutual attraction between the Sun and a giant object, in this case Comet Atlas, would increase the speed or the velocity of the object in a manner in which it is catapulted away from the Sun in a process known as a slingshot effect. So whether it would be a large planetary object or an immense comet such as Atlas, 
its direction would be from the north pole of the sun and the earth, and thus would be seen in the northern hemisphere. So could there be a correlation between a presumed planetary presence and the likes of Comet Atlas? Some scientists seem to think so. After all, they have been searching for a tenth planet equal in size to Atlas for more than 100 years. Daniel Whitmire, a retired professor of astrophysics, has indicated in published articles with the Royal Astronomical Society that a yet undiscovered Planet X triggers comet showers that are linked to mass extinctions on Earth, ones that occur in intervals of 27 million years. Whitmire's theory on mass extinction was published in the 1985 Time magazine cover story titled, Did Comets Kill the Dinosaurs? The publication gave three explanations for regular comet showers. One of them was the existence of Planet X. Another was a companion star to our Sun, and the other being the vertical oscillation of the Sun as it orbits the galaxy. The only theory that remained viable to paleontological records was the possibility of a Planet X. And so now, this theory, because of the appearance of Comet Atlas, is gaining renewed attention. The theory states that Planet X orbits the Sun. Its tilted orbit slowly rotates, and Planet X passes through the Kuiper Belt of comets every 27 million years, knocking comets into the inner solar system. The dislodged comets not only smash into the Earth, they also disintegrate in the inner solar system as they get nearer to the Sun, reducing the amount of sunlight that reaches the Earth. The story of a great comet coming our way is one that sparks a great deal of interest and enthusiasm among astronomers and sky watchers alike. It also garners renewed attention among planetary scientists and astrophysicists who study the heavens, relentlessly searching for the elusive Planet X. And yet, regardless of one's affiliation with the cosmos and the mysteries it contains, we will always be fascinated with the wonders of the universe, and especially the huge space rocks that come our way but once in a generation. Thanks for watching.